Gosh, what to play today? I feel like I've been playing the same things over and over again these days. Hmm. Oh, right! I used to play this really cool game on my phone. What was it called again? Ah! Rise of Kingdoms. Oh, well, would you look at that? It's still on my phone, even. So, we will be playing this amazing game once again, which is critically acclaimed. And it's, again, called Rise of Kingdoms Lost Crusade. It's a real-time strategy game inspired by historical civilizations and figures. So, you will be able to see uh, familiar names and faces such as Genghis Khan, Alexander the Great, Cleopatra, etc. So speaking of historical civilizations, the game will feature 11 of them and you get to choose which one you will play in the game. And each of these 11 historical civilizations has its own architecture, unique units, and special advantages of the game mechanics. So for example, mine right now is Japan. So this is an old account and I picked Japan the first time I played this. So you can actually choose a new one but right now, my bonus stats include increased troop attack by 3%, scout march speed by 30%, and resource gathering speed by 5%. You can also choose to go for, like, example, France, let's say. France has the chivalry bonuses that increase troop health by 3%, wood gathering speed by 10%, and hospital healing by 20%. So it's all up to you on which civilization you would like to start out with. So let's talk about the world we are going to be exploring. So all of the action in game is happening inside a single enormous map inhabited by players and NPC characters. So there's neither a pop-up battle screen nor isolated bases. So this is my base, right? So the infinite zoom feature allows you to transition freely from worldview to individual bases to barbarian posts such as not here. See? Barbarians, stone deposits, more barbarians, more barbarians to kill! Later on, I will show you guys how to kill barbarians. All of the action happens in real time. So while your base is progressing, the same goes for your allied or enemy's bases. The map also features natural obstructions such as rivers and mountain ranges and strategic passes that must be captured to gain entrance to neighboring regions. And this gives you the feel that you are indeed in an ancient battleground. So see, there's a body of water over there, rivers mountains trees so any orders or movement can be done on your troops they can be flexible in which they can either attack a nearby enemy base meet up with allied troops to capture a pass gather resources from a nearby forest or you can split them with multiple commanders to allow them to multitask so for example i would love to gather some more more stone so I'm going to choose one of my 12 commanders over here. So I will choose this commander who's really good at gathering stuff. And I will choose how many troops that she's going to take with her. And then there you have it. She's marching off to that stone deposit over there. And while she's at it, I could also gather some wood over here with another commander, such as Frederick, my strongest commander so far. And he will bring with him the rest of my troops. Is this so the Weg nach Italien? Multitasking at its best. So the game is also top rated right now at the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. And it's a really popular game currently and it's really worth trying out. So um, I know words alone are not enough to prove it. So you know what? let's just let's just play. Let's check out the current status of my base right now. So I have a farm. I have a lumber mill, a few lumber mills, gold mine and a few quarries as well for stone 
what should I build? Maybe I could um upgrade one of my my lumber mills. Oh, it became nighttime. All right, I will level up my my level five farm. I can upgrade that for eight minutes, and then I could also train some more troops to make my power stronger. Train more troops. Yes. The more, the merrier, right? So here are the quests that I've accomplished so far. Wow. So whenever you accomplish quests, you get prizes. You get rewards. So I'm gonna claim all of that. We can also research stuff and make our base smarter, quote unquote, so that we can do things faster and more efficiently, such as this one, for example. We can increase troops' wood gathering speed on the map. So let's research that. It completes in 54 minutes. My base right now, my city hall is at level 10. Not bad, I guess, but if you would look around the map, I have a neighbor over here who's at level 25. Let's check out his base. Oof. Oh, that's a really clean looking base. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just, you know, let's just stick to his base for now and not show my own base anymore for the whole duration of this video. <laughs> Mine's so embarrassing. Look at that. It's so nice. Wait, which civilization is this? Anywho, I don't even know. Olympia. All right, let's stalk other people. Here's another one. Level 22. Oh, that looks so good as well. I should probably fix my base up. I think I would like to kill barbarians right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my commanders go home finish up their wood and stone gathering oh man in guys papatay muna tayo ng barbarians Ooh, i accomplished another side quest gather 420,000 stone on the map please thank you let's find some barbarians to kill level 10 barbarians para sure win sure win attack and of course, I am going to choose my main commander, Japanese commander here, Minamoto Yoshitsune. And I'm gonna max out all of the troops. Alright, so these three structures right here are my hospitals. And I will heal up my wounded troops before looking for somebody else to kill. This is the level 19 barbarian troop, so no thank you. Let's try this level 13 one. I'm not sure though if I'll be able to handle this. It says here on the bottom right, it's gonna be a neck and neck battle. It's not gonna be a piece of cake, so let's see if I'm ready for this. I could actually choose two commanders and more troops to join me in this battle. So, um... Let's attack. Also, with more troops. I've got two commanders leading my troops this time. Oh. Yeah, I think I'll be able to... I'm not sure I'll be able to handle these guys. Ah! I'm dying! I'm dying! Oh man. My my other commander just got defeated, but hold on. I think I think I I think I'm gonna be able to get this one actually. Oh defeated level 13 barbarians on the map yay more rewards nice nice 
daming sugatan. So right now, I am not part of any alliance. I used to have one. I remember I used to have a wolf pack alliance, but I don't know what happened to that. I guess it just died out. So right now, I'm a lone wolf. Let's see what quests I can do. So this first side quest I have here is to upgrade my hospital to level 10. Let's see what requirements... I think I have sufficient resources for this. So let me go and upgrade that. It finishes in around four hours, but I'm too impatient to wait. So I'm gonna speed that up with a speed up item over here. I'm gonna use that. Yes. <laughs> so instantly level 10 hospital and an instant quest completion. There you go. It's always better to finish as much side quests as you can before completing the main quest over here, which is to upgrade my city hall to level 11. So I'm gonna finish, try to finish as much side quests as I can. So I'll proceed to upgrading my gold mine to level 7, which is at level 6 right now. Perfect. So just one more level. Again, I'm gonna speed that up with an item because. We got no time for that! Ta-da! So, actually, this game is really addictive, especially when you're, like, in an alliance with your friends who are also addicted to it. I'll probably find an alliance to join next. And that wraps up my simple, really quick gameplay video of the awesome MMO game called Rise of Kingdoms, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching that simple playthrough as much as I enjoyed playing the game. And also to celebrate the upcoming Rise of Kingdoms anniversary, happy anniversary! Get to take into the battle the Chinese historical figure called Mulan. So claim her by logging in within September 23 to October 7. And there will also be an in-game top-up event for all of you supporters of the game. Don't miss that, guys. Don't miss it. So if you want to take your leadership to a new level, if you enjoy history and you love going to wars and conquering kingdoms and eventually the whole world, like me, <laughs> then this game is definitely for you. And if you want to join me in-game, please do check out and download the game from the link in the description down below. And also don't forget to follow my Facebook page, facebook.com slash ashgoshengfiao and here on YouTube, youtube.com slash ashg17 the most embarrassing name ever <laughs> and uh yeah i'll be waiting for you in game guys so see ya